Hello everybody, welcome to the St. Patrick's Day week edition of Monday Musings. I hope everyone is doing well in this uh, unsettled and wet weather pattern that we are in. Uh, it is nice that it's a little warmer and uh, not quite as windy as the last uh, atmospheric river uh, that we experienced. Uh, so again, hope everybody is uh, staying safe and that uh, houses and everything uh, like that is is safe. You may have noticed if you were at Mass this weekend that we, as a precaution, sandbagged the side door because if you remember the last storm that we had, that's when we had water uh, come into the church uh, through there. So that's why uh, just as a precaution we sandbagged uh, that door because that's the only problem or the only place where we've had a major problem. So that's what we're responding to. So uh, lots happening uh, this week. Uh, we have uh, St. Patrick's Day on Friday and just a reminder that uh, the bishop did grant a dispensation from the Friday abstinence for meat on St. Patrick's Day. So if you do choose to eat meat on Friday, uh, simply uh, replace the Friday abstinence with another uh, prayer, uh, pious work, uh, or good work uh, instead of um, abstaining from meat. So, uh, and on Saturday, lots going on. We have two confirmations with Bishop Soto uh, for our teens. So please do uh, keep them in your prayers. It's always a wonderful uh, experience for our teenagers to uh, not only to meet our bishop, uh, but to to have the sacrament uh, at his hand. So. Uh, again, it's a, it's a powerful weekend uh, for them and for the parish. So please do, uh, again, keep, keep them in your prayers. And of course, we also have our uh, St. Patrick's Day party. Uh, first one in my time here, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, if you weren't able to get uh, tickets the last two weekends, they are available uh, in the parish office during our open uh, hours 9 to 2.30, uh, Tuesday to Friday. So if you haven't gotten those tickets, you can come on down and uh, get them. So as I say, I'm looking looking forward to it and of course looking forward to uh, a yummy meal. Though as I shared with some of you um, personally, uh, I more look forward to the day after St. Patrick's Day and corned beef sandwiches. Those are things that warm the cockles uh, of my culinary heart. Um, and then uh, just again in general um, I said this I'll say this in next week's pastor's corner so you'll read it there too but uh, I do hope to have Father Andy down uh, sometime before he starts formally in July so that you can meet each other so stay tuned uh, for for those details uh, when they happen and uh, most likely Father Gregory will then go up to Anchorage so that both parishes have their uh, usual number of priests for uh, the weekend masses uh, because up in Anchorage particularly uh, in addition to the parish masses they also do regular supply in smaller uh, outlying uh, communities uh, outside of Anchorage so uh, that, that'll be particularly important for us to help our sister parish uh, to do that while while he's here. Um, so that's what that's what we got for this weekend. So uh, enjoy the week. Uh, enjoy St. Patrick's Day, the patron, co-patron uh, of our Diocese of Sacramento. Uh, do pray for our confirmation students uh, and hope to see many of you at the St. Patrick's Day party uh, this coming Saturday as well as uh, the Masses next Sunday. So God bless you. Have a wonderful week. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.